Hello, my friends. I'm just uh, inviting you to play along with me today, or watch me as I experiment on something. I had a bunch of these little canvas prints made for my show in May, and I was attaching the hanger and labeling them, signing them, and for some reason, oh, let's see, I think I'm having you watch it this way. For some reason, um, I signed it right on the print rather than down here. And um, I usually sign it down here. There's plenty of room. But I signed it on there, and it went through. I used a fine, um, fine tip Sharpie marker, and there it is. So that was a bummer. But I thought, um, I'll try to paint over it. Now, I, I initially was going to paint um, a whole different thing over here, um, a flower with a bee, because the 20th of May is National Bee Day. And I thought that would be a nice thing to do. But instead, and so I, I put a, a wash of purple over the whole thing. And then I thought, wait a minute, I should just try to fix these. Paint on this canvas print. So I took paper towel and water and wiped off as much of the purple as I could. It kind of stained a little bit here. But I, I think that actually adds some interest to this bottom area. The rest of it is pretty well cleaned up. A little purple there, but... That's okay. Anyway, I'm going to give it a try and see if I can paint on this kind of slick surface. I'm using Liquitex Basics Fluid Acrylics. I've got raw sienna, cad orange hue, cad yellow medium, white, um, burnt, is this burnt umber? Or raw umber? Raw umber. And, uh, and naphthol crimson. I'm just going to do a little brush mixing. I've got an assortment of Artist Loft brushes here in all different types, flats and rounds and filberts. Filberts are really good for doing the um, the feathers. I think that's what I used for the most part when I painted this. The original is quite large. I think it's 24 by 20. But anyway, let's see how this works. So I'm not really going to explain too much of what I'm doing as I said, I'm just playing and I thought I would record it. <laughs> so, But I will um, use a filbert brush for the most part and work from dark to light. So don't be alarmed as you see what I'm doing. <laughs> And I think it would look funny if I just paint the uh, problem area. So I'm probably going to have to paint pretty much the whole thing. I don't know. We'll see. And I'm going to change it up a little bit from the original. This is kind of like a working on a coloring book. I've already done the hard work. Do you see how that filbert makes such lovely shapes? Just like feathers, I think. That looks that looks pretty good, I have to say. A little adding a little a little bit of texture to this uh to this slick canvas. And actually, I don't think I, I need to do anything further. I covered up the lettering nicely. I'll move on to uh, this one. He's kind of orange. This one is, I'll make a little 
a little lighter and this one is pretty much a white bird, a white chicken. So let's uh, just put some kind of light orange down. And let's see, this is semi-transparent. So is that one. The only one that's opaque is probably my white, but by adding it to the other colors, it's covering up um, the writing pretty well. So cute. This guy doesn't need it, but I'm going to add a little bit to everybody. Why not? Kind of make his add a few highlights here. You can turn your filbert uh, sideways and it's almost a liner. Let's brighten up his beak a little bit. Or her. This one needs to be a little brighter. I like that. I guess you'll let the layers dry before moving on. So maybe I'll come over to this one. Um, this one. Um, I think I'll use, maybe I'll use uh, white and the raw sienna. Maybe with a touch of the brown. If I had black, I would put a gray down, but uh, now this one's a little tricky because I have to think about his body shape. back to this one now since that's pretty much dry. You can see a little bit of that lettering in there. But not enough to be a problem. I think this is working well. I have an, uh, one other one I messed up, a horse print. So I think I'll do the same and fix that one as well. And actually it's a little more special than the prints because it's got some hand painting on it. No, I don't like that. I know this isn't terribly interesting, but some of you say you you would just like me to make videos and watch me paint, so here you go. <laughs> I don't know how interesting this is, but... I think I used purple um, for my shadowing there, but I don't have any purple laid out. I'm not going to get any, so...
Alrighty, I suppose I I should add a little bit to these guys as well. I'm gonna let that dry and then go um, add a little more white to it. So how about some orange and raw sienna? Maybe a touch of red. some definition there between the, the tail and his body. That's probably an improvement. Dinner. My husband, he's very tired. He, he's at a golf tournament today. Brighten this guy's head up a little bit. That's too much. I'll let that dry and I'll I'll get that a little darker. Let's see, we'll come to this one. Okay, a little yellow. That's better. Okay, where else? Down here, I can see a little bit of my signature. I don't know if it's worth trying to fix, because if I touch that up with blue, uh, where do I stop? However, I will, just to make this a little more interesting. I'll mix up some blue, see if I can't match that color. So let me go get some blue. These are the two blues I have, light blue permanent and uh, cerulean blue. 
This is probably the closest to that. So, and I found you should shake these up. Um, I I didn't, but when I squirted out the red, a lot of uh, it had separated. So depending on the color, it does some weird things. Okay, let's just test that. Wow, that that's pretty much that color. I think I want to make it just a smidge lighter though, so I added a little bit of white. Yes, being the kind of perfectionist that I that I am, uh, very hard on myself. Um, that would bother me seeing that writing through this area here so and I fix that too brighten that up I'm bothered by that purple too so I'm gonna touch that up as well I'm not bothered by it down here for some reason in fact, let's see, I'll take a bigger brush. I don't have anything really large um, in this set of brushes. What am I doing? What am I doing? Stop it. I don't I don't like the look of that. And yet I keep going. I do this when I'm pouring as well. All right, let's just take some <laughs> paper towel and swish that around a little bit. I was thinking I might get a little more of a cloud look. I don't know that I should bother doing that anywhere else. But I am. Oh my gosh. Do, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> I should have left it alone. But just in the corners here. Brighten up that beak just ever so slightly. Did I do this one? Did I? Maybe I lightened it. I don't like the way it looks now. That's better. When when you make a print of something, it loses something in the in the translation. You know, unless you pay a lot to have a gicle made, um, they're never, of course, they don't look as good as the originals, but not bad. Okay, I think I can uh, sell that now.
What do you think? I don't think I can see the writing enough to um, to say it's not usable. Oh, there's some more right there. Some blue is needed. If I see it right there. Okay, well, there we go. If anybody's interested in this, um, normally this size is $40, but um, if anybody wants it, you can have it for, for $30, which in, will include shipping. Just let me know in the comments. First come, first serve. Okay, my friends, thanks for watching. See you next time.